What's up, my beautiful people, my shining stars? <laughs> I gotta adjust this right quick. But what's up, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright, not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Hold on one second. I am. I, I apologize. Hold on. All right. That's much better. Had to get that lighting together. Got to get it together up in here. But anyway, don't have time for all that. All right. So what we doing today, guys? But before I do that, let me thank all of my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for um, all the donations. Thank you for all the energy exchange. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the encouraging words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, I got to move on because, hey, we I, this is a short read. Okay, so for those of you that clicked here for the first time, please go to the description box. All of my information is there. If you, for some reason, have a question or a concern or I'm not doing any personal reading, so you don't have to email me about that. But if you have anything, questions or concerns or something that you want to know or whatever the case may be, email me. Okay? I will respond back. Okay? All right. Let's get into it. We are honoring a sign of, of Virgo. Bam, there it is, Virgo. New year, new you, there it is, bam. All right, here we go, guys. What we're doing today is a quick read, quick run through of what it, a quick word from your person. What your person want to say, what's go, whatever it is that when I start the reading that your person wants you to know, what spirit wants you to know, what's going on. It's a quick sneak peek into what's go, what is going on, which, what's up with your person, period. So your word for today is this desire okay what i'm getting from this is that your person this could be an old love new love whoever you clicked on here for this person that person right here desires you desires to have a, a commitment desires to have one more chance desires you sexually desires to be back in your presence desires to um have a friendship restore friendship renew a friendship renew a relationship um start from the basics courtship let's let's start from the courtship all the way up to a full-fledged um marriage somebody want to start all over with you they desire this with everything within their being they desire this but what i'm getting from this is that um it's a separation some of you have moved totally moved on from this person you're not interested you're not um getting ready to give give this person another chance you have totally moved on. You're dating someone else or you're out there seeing what's out there for you. You're soaring your royal oaks, as they would say, seeing what's out there, doing new things, um, trailblazing, um, it's going through new experiences, um, doing things you've never done before. And you're not even thinking about this person. However, you did click on this reading. So you might just want to know what's up. So here's what's up. They desire. They want you. That's what's up. They desire. Yes, they still desire you. Yes, they still want you. It's up to you. Now, for those of you that's waiting, that's waiting on this person, wondering because this person has not contacted you, you guys in separation, you don't know what's going on with this person, this is what's up. They want you. They desire you. They want one more chance. They want to start from the basis. They want a redo or rebirth. They want it. Okay. Okay, their feelings, forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. They want you to forgive them um, for anything that they have done to you that have hurt you. They want to forgive you. They want they want to forgive you for for hurting them. 
because in some instances you have hurt them but they have totally forgiven you if you have hurt them they want forgiveness from you um, because they know that they took you to unnecessary trials and tribulations all because of their insecurities hurt pain things that don't even have nothing to do with you childhood issues stuff that they couldn't recover from and so this person realized that the things that they took you through didn't have didn't have anything to do with you that was pain that was from coming from elsewhere that they needed to deal with but they poured it out and projected onto you and they know that they're wrong for that and they want your forgiveness that's what's up okay um we're gonna move on over here this person, we're going to get messages from over here. Um, this person knows that you're blessed. You are blessed and they want to have a blessed union with you. They for once and for all want to stand up, man up, woman up. Um, want to do what's right by you. Want to speak up, speak their truth, tell the truth, be honest. Put their pride aside, put their ego aside and come to you and be a real man or be a real woman to say what they need to say. Okay, because they want this blessed union with you. They know that you're protected. They want you to know what's up, and that is that they that you expire that you inspire them. Um, they want forever with you. Um, they know that it's gonna take a miracle, a lot of praying, a lot of um, a lot of work, a lot of convincing, a lot of um, proving to you that. This is what they truly want because of the past, how they acted and how they treated you. It will be, they know that it will be hard for you and hard for you, to, a hard pill for you to swallow, for you to come back to them and believe in them again. But they want it. They want a family. They want to be with you. They want this 10 of cups. I see 10 of cups. They want a 10 of cups with you. They want a once in a lifetime love with you. They think that you're beautiful inside and out. They finally, finally, finally have owned up to it and know that you're the one and you have the beauty, the smarts, the wisdom. Everything about you is just absolutely beautiful. That You have a warrior spirit about you. You're a fighter. You are persistent. You go after after what you want you take risks you do it they have a lot of hope and here's protected again so you have protected they know that you're protected they want to tell they want to tell you what's up and this is i love you okay that's what's up this person loves you they love you and they want to be loved by you but this person is fighting against themselves they juggling going back and forth when is the right opportunity when is the right time to come forth and, and express these feelings to you to express how they feel to express um you know all of this to you the truth to reveal to you the truth without ego and without pride just to be vulnerable with you for once in a lifetime to be vulnerable and be real with you this is a very hard thing for them to do they've never done that before all right, so let's get into the charms here. We have um, something ended, okay? The skull, something ended. It, it you know, is done. It's, it's something ended. Um, somebody is suffering about this ending. They still suffering in silence. They are uh, mulling over this, grieving over it, staying up at night, um, tossing and turning, having all kind of anxiety over um, this situation. Okay, um, here's a heart. It has a hole in it. This person wasn't wasn't able to love you the way you deserve to be loved. So they acted out in other ways because they had a hole in their heart. They didn't know how to love you. No one has ever, it's no excuse. I'm only telling you what's up, okay? Because you know how I roll. <laughs> I don't give no, I don't hold no punches. But this person right here, they didn't know how. They had a hole in their heart. So they, all they could do was receive. It wasn't, it wasn't no love in their heart for them to be able to give to someone. They didn't know how. Then you have two hearts here where when you came in, you feel you you filled this hole up. You made them feel something they have never ever felt before. You placed a mark. A special mark into their heart that um, no one has ever done. Mother, father, family, other romantic uh, loves. Nobody has touched their heart and placed a 
a handprint on a heart like you have. Here's the other heart. Here's their heart here now after they met you, okay? And this is a heart right here where it stands right now. Their heart is like at a, uh, it's, at, it's a funny looking heart right here because this heart right here, even though it still have you within it, it's funny shaped because it's without you. Your, your, your presence, you're not giving and you're not pouring into this person. So this heart is, is funny looking. It's funny shape. It's, it's unusual. It's not the way it was before. Um, this person is slowly coming towards you. So slowly trying to find a way to come at you. This person is buying their time. They're trying to exercise, get healthy, get their body tight, get their body right. So when they come to you, they looking fine. They looking good. You know, and um, we got leaves here. Something significant happened in the fall time. Did they meet you in the fall? Did y'all break up in the fall? Did something end in the fall? Did you have a, um, a argument in the fall? Something in the fall is significant here or something significant is getting ready to happen in this fall, in, in the fall time coming up, 2021, okay? All right, so we got lips here somebody wants to kiss someone's missing your your intimacy missing you um misses your kisses missing your your smells missing your touch missing you um in an intimate way um this person thinks that you are you are their soulmate you are the one because you have no one has ever touched their heart and left a mark on their heart like you have and this particular person have had a lot of lovers a lot of people because this person was a runner i haven't got down here that down to that part but this person was a runner they ran from you they ran from the relationship they ghosted you hurt you put you through the ringer all because they was insecure about the love that they that you that they were feeling for you and the love that you were giving to them okay it was unfamiliar and they it, they made them feel vulnerable and uncomfortable so they ran um, you block this person. You're not. You're no longer interested. You just after they've hurt you and put through the ringer. You said enough is enough, and you have put. A, you've blocked them. You have put a lock on your heart. You're not. You're not interested. You're not giving no more. You're not pouring no more. You're not moving towards. You finding someone new. This person here know that they put you through the ringer with this umbrella. They know you had a lot of rainy days, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. But now they want to take this umbrella and they want to rectify all your rainy days. They want to they want to hold the umbrella over you and make you feel safe, make you feel whole, make you feel secure again. Okay, um, music is very significant. This could be a musician. Somebody can play an instrument here. If they, if that's the case, they wrote you a song. Um, they That's one of the ways they're going to try to come back in. They wrote you a song. They're going to play a song. They they, uh, they they are writing a song, poetry. They're writing something out. They're writing a journal out. Their feelings about you, something about music and writing because you have both music. You have the... Um, an instrument here and the music so music is significant and if they don't have a uh a instrument this person here is uh sitting up listening to music thinking about you sending you music uh telepathically sending you music if you're hearing the same song over in a day that's this person sending you that song they listen to that song over and over and over again thinking about you sending that song in the ethers to you all right if somebody has transforming this connection um we already talked about the runner you are this person's sunshine you're very positive they love the light they they, they miss your presence they miss your energy want they want they want you back Here's family is very significant here. Their family could, they, this person could have two kids. Uh, you could have two kids with them. Um, this person, um, family might be involved in this, uh, interfering in this connection, something dealing with family. They want family with you. They want to have a family. They already have a family with you or their family is uh, very important to them and they are letting their family influence them in a negative way or have in this connection you have the elephant spirit here which is this person could be very strong this person can be tall can be built can be big a, a big man a big man or a big uh, woman 
um, but a very small and gentle spirit. Um, when you look at them, they they look like they mean, but they really a big teddy bear, really soft spoken, really loving, caring person. All right, so the uh, initials we have is um, okay. We have the uh, word Don. This could be Don. This could be Donald. Dorothy. Um, you have somebody need to take a spiritual bath to cleanse their aura, to cleanse themselves, to release themselves from negative energy. Um, you have, um, somebody can be Van, named Van. Um, we got Vanessa, I hear, um, Bella, we have Faye, and then we have, um, D-O-N-D-O-R-T-H-Y-B-A-V-N-B-E-L-L. F Y B K F Q G P C Q V B R C S C Z. Your love. This is well, not this. This is uh, this, this in honor of the new moon. I'm doing the moon oracle. So what um, you got, Virgo, is a time for healing. So somebody in the connection is still needing to heal a little bit more. Um, they need to focus on healing and not so much on a relationship. They need to get their mind right, their heart right, their body right. And they just need to get their soul and spirit all aligned to one and to full wholeness before they really connect with someone else. So if this is you, Cross Watcher, and you need to heal, go ahead and continue. Spirit is saying... Go ahead and heal. With this moon that's getting ready to come up, this full moon, is some healing that's going to be significant for you. So release. Put your intentions out there. Release, release, release. This is your time. Release that hurt. Release those burdens. Release that pain and let it go. All right? All right, so Virgo, this has been your reading. If it resonated, hit the comments. You know what to do. Um thumbs up if you did thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it share 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 subscribe instagram facebook twitter in the description box i love you you're worth it you are the bomb.com all right and i'm sending love your way and i'm sending healing your way and trinity is